In the past, we've been able to use Classic Studio and YouTube to edit the automatic closed captioning. We would do this by going to our YouTube studio, then going to videos, selecting a video, going under show more, and then clicking on English by YouTube, and then edit on Classic Studio. However, when you do that, you get an error message. Now, it's possible that YouTube is going to fix this, but when it's called something like Classic Studio and they've already talked about discontinuing it, it's probably time to use the updated studio. Let's go ahead and do that. So again, we're going to still go to YouTube Studio, but instead of clicking on the video list, what we're going to do is click on subtitles. So let's go ahead and pick a video. And now you notice that we can't just change the automatic closed captioning. What we need to do is duplicate and edit. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there's a big difference here. You still have what's on the screen itself where you can see that it's two lines of closed captioning and the timing of it. But what's on the left-hand side is one giant paragraph with everything, which initially I thought, oh my gosh, it's horrible. But on thinking about it, you can go ahead and just edit everything in that giant text and I know what my punctuation should be. I know that what I was trying to say, so you don't have to sit and watch the whole video. I think this will actually make things much faster. And for some of these, you notice that there's squiggly lines under the word Ella. I can go ahead and click on that and it knows that it should be capitalizing that. So when it comes to things like days of the week, you can quickly scroll through and fix them with one click, which is, believe me, much faster than what I was doing before. And the same for things like I've. So once you have all the edits done, then you simply click on publish. So let's see if it actually took a long time. So this isn't one of those times where I've actually stopped and come back 10 minutes later. Let's check out our video. So I'll click on that and Let's turn on the, up oh, the closed captioning, captioning is already on, and, well, that's my cat Ella, and it looks like the closed captioning is in fact already updated. That's pretty awesome. And it looks like without me doing anything, it actually picked the correct subtitles, because you could switch it back to the auto-generated, which would be silly, but it's good to know that that's already done for us. So, I don't like it when things switch in the middle of the semester, but I think once we get the hang of this, this is actually going to make our closed captioning faster. So with that, we'll say goodbye to Ella. And before I published this video, I found one other trick. If you don't want to edit this as a giant paragraph, you can just click on assign timings, and then it looks like it did before. And you could go ahead and edit it line by line. And if you wanted to go back to the giant paragraph, well, just click back on edit as text. And there we have it. Good luck closed captioning your videos.